Nelson Miriu Timidamu. Kuambia watu wenye wako Saudi Arabia ati waandamane, eti waambia waiguru hiyo siku hakuta kuwa na kazi eti Tell your white guru, tell your white to that day there will be no more shugul, no, no, no shugul, mafi shugul. Kwambia watu wa andamane ujue hii ni nchi ya wenyewe, na unaribia kazi, unaribia wengine kazi, na I don't buy your idea. Come and sue me. That is very wrong. Wengine watakufuata na watapoteza kazi, they might even end up arrested. Huku siyo Kenya, hati unasimama hivi unanza kufanya kitu unafanya, wengine hata sisi hatu endangi kutupa takataka. We are being accompanied, kuenda kutupa takataka. As, in, as if we are president of Kenya. Unapata owino, akina, wote wana kusindikisha, unaenda kutupa takataka. Who are you? Nelson Miryuki Mithamo. To tell Kenyans in Saudi Arabia, ati, kuna siku ya maandamano. Ati waambia, waititua na waiguru wawo, yu siku waandamano. Waandamano wafanya nini? Do you think hapa ni Kenya, ama unafikiria hapa ni US? Ati mtu unamuka, tunafanya kitu unafanya. Shame on you, Nelson. I don't buy your idea at all. Kucha unifanyia kitu chenye unanifanyia. Una, una amuka tu naanza kuandamana hata kama unateswa. Siku na loss. Alafu kuna ile kitu ni sign. Kuna barua una sign kama we ni wa contract. Ala, alafu kuna ofisi. Huku kuna maofisi. Ni ofisi. Ni ancients wametuleta huku. Sio sisi tumetuleta. Tunaletwa na ofisi. Huku kuna hata polisi. Kuna hata Kenyan embassy. Kuna hata labor. Ministry of labor. Eh? Kini siyo kuanza kuambia watu, mtu hiyo siku asifanya kazi, umtu utaandamana wapi huku Saudi Arabia, huku Saudi utaandamana wapi, unafikiria huku ni kama Kenya. Nelson, stop misleading our Kenyans. Kwa sababu na, eh, sisi ndio wengi, I always support you Nelson, lakini sasa umeanza kuwaribu. Watu sisi ndio wengi. Sisi ndio wengi tukifanya hivyo. Kwa Nelson, what I can tell you is to let whoever is not interested with Saudi Arabia job arudi kwa ofisi, aseme anataka kubadilisha nyumba ama anataka kurudi Kenya. Aseme, yeye ametosheka na kazi. <coughs> there is always a probation period in a kuanga ya three months. Kama you are not even comfortable with that house, you can change the house even if it is ten times within that probation period. Lakini siku kuambia watu, yo siku ni kuandamana, ambia waititu wako, waiguru wako. Saudi Arabia ni wapi? Henda uambia watu wenye wako Dubai, they are free. Ah, watu wana kuanga at least free. Lakini Saudi Arabia, the laws here are very strict. Nelson. Mtu wakiwa na aja, mtu wakiwa na shida yeyote, wacha aende kwa ofisi. Lakini siyo uambia mtu ati anze kustrike, anze maandamano. Hmm? Nelson, what people are going through a lot here in Saudi Arabia? What are not seeing as sana? Utambia mtu andamane ataenda andamane atashikwa afungiwe kwa room atapewa chakula they can do even everything. Uko kuna mwarabu mzuri. Mtoto wa wenyewe atateswa juu yako. Wewe uko hapo unaambi ukionyesha watu vile ati uli resign kazi ndio uanze kutetea wa Kenya wenye wako huko. Where on earth mtu anaheza resign at yaanze kutetea? Hiyo ni kazi ya kina atuoni. Ajia hiyo kazi ya kina atuoni. Hiyo ni kazi ya kina ministry of labor. Ama uende unini uaplay kazi huko. Lakini kuambia watu ati unawanyesha watu hile pesa unapata. It doesn't even make sense at all. I always support you and I salute you for the work you have been doing. But what you are saying is totally bad. It is not allowed here in Saudi Arabia. Can you come on, come on and think twice about it, Nelson? Untapotesha watu. Not unless wewe ni agent. Na hata ni agent mungani atakwambia unini uanze maandamano kwa nchi ya wanyewe. Ni nchi gani ya ikuangi na sheria? Sheria na mashalti, Nelson. Imagine you, we are foreigners here. Alafu unaweza kutuambia tuambia waiguru ati kutakuwa na siku ya maandamano wacha wenye wako Kenya watupiganie wacha wenye wako Kenya waandamane at least they are free but sisi tukiandamana some of us even we have kemboys imagine kemboy akiandamana na ni mtu hata ana ID ana passport wengine walitoka kwa warabu wao juu ya shida juu ya mateso what is who does that on this planet earth <coughs> Nelson
stop misleading our Kenyans. Wengine tulikuja hapa kutafutia familia yetu. Wengine hata tunasomesha. Eh? You have been watu huku hata wen, kuna mwarabu anachapa mkenya. Kuna hata wa Kenya nilisikia wanaitwa madalala, wanachapa wa Kenya wengine. Au madalala wanauza wa Kenya wengine. Hmm? So many dirty things are going on here. Hapa ni kuomba. Kuomba tu. Mwarabu wako unamnyamazisha una na maombi, unamnyamazisha na Bible verse. Ukitafuta uso wa Mungu na yeye ata hata kuonekania. Si kuambiwa na mtu anza kuandamana na ni kwa inji ya wenyewe. Enda kwenu Kenya ukandamane huko guys. Don't listen to what Nelson is telling you. Pray. I always tell my friends to push. Push, push, push. Pray until something happens. Mungu ujibu maombi. Lakini sio kuandamana kwa njia wenyewe. Mungu anakupitisha hayo majaribu ndo uanze kumtafuta. Tulikuja huku kutafuta, hatukukuja huku kuchokozana. Tulikuja huku kutafutia watoto wetu, familia yetu, hatukukuja huku kukufa. In fact, we need even an emergency flight. Ni watu wangapi wanakufia Saudi Arabia wakiwa wagonjwa? Wewe ukipeleka mtoto wako hospitali, saa hii hebu niongee na maagent kidogo. Wewe agent umepeleka babako hospitali fulani. Ukaona aendelee vizuri. Si huwa unamtransfer anaenda kwa hospitali ingine. Anatibiwa huko, si ndio? Hivyo ndo tunataka tukue tunafanyiwa hapa Saudi Arabia. Kama mtu amepelekwa hospitalini na hakuna change, anafaa apelekwe hospitali ingine. Mali, kama hakuna kama hakuna hospitali ingine, tunafaa kuwa na emergency flight. Ni wa Kenya wangapi tumeona wamekufia Saudi Arabia kwa hospitali just because of poor handling of Kenyans. Contract imeandikwa medical lazima uh, boss wako agaramie but some of them are running away from the from those uh, you know from those staffs. Medical accommodation kila kitu imeandikwa hapo even off days na hata atupe angle off agent I'm talking to you where are you? Ni wa Kenya wangapi wanachapwa kwa, kwa hizi manyumba? Ni wa Kenya wangapi hata wanarepiwa kwa hizi manyumba? And you you are there kwa ofisi mkizunguka na viti. Mkenya akilia hivi. Don't you know that tears are the most expensive liquid in this uh, uh, planet Earth? Vile tu Mkenya anachapwa pale Saudi Arabia machozi inatiririka inatiriri, hivi anakukumbuka. Ujue whatever you do in this planet Earth there is a judgment day. A judgment day is coming. Kwa hivyo Kenyans, msisikize mambo ya maandamano kila mtu afanye kazi yenye ilimleta huku. Huku ulikuja peke yako. Kwa hivyo ukisikiza vile watu wanatakwambia utapotoshwa na watu. 